you know, I hate hearing the word dad bod or whatever, because for me, it's, it's just an excuse. It's just another excuse, right? Why you can be fat or overweight or not be in shape or not take care of your diet. Um, just another excuse, right? Or my excuse to, to come out here to train, to eat right, to eat properly, is not only to, the, to show them, but so that I can do the stuff with them and be there for them. guy just loves coming out to the gym. It's been cool to watch and see. The other the other one doesn't uh he's 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 getting better about coming out. This one now, if I ask him if he wants to work out, he's always like, yup. Loves it. He got goals. Grab uh what do you think? Some fives to start off with? Yeah. Okay. Feel the tension, push that butt. So break the knee, push the butt back, feel the tension, and then drive, right? Drive through that floor and keep those arms long. And until you get to there, then you start to pull yourself up, down, and around. Now allow you to relax those arms. And use your hips to drive the weight. Butt back, butt back, butt back, go. Butter, yeah, same way, do the exact same thing now. Right, break the knee, butt back, butt back, butt back, and go. That's okay. Get tight, because this is your power, right? If you're here, it's not very powerful, right? You gotta be here. Because then you can really drive to the floor. Give me one more. Break the knee, barely, butt back, butt back, and go. Much better. Yeah, that was good. good. You're kind of wanting to go here. Like, get to there, right? Get that full hip extension. The hip extension is important. There you go. All right, so when you break that, when I say break the knee, it's just this. And then think about pushing that butt back, right? And just feel those hamstrings really engage. And then, boom, right? Elbows high, turn them over. Stand that thing tall, right? Oh, much better. That last one was the best one. Good job. Two more sets. I'm gonna go one more time. Good. <laughs> right. 
There you go. Nice. Best set. You sit tight. Get that back, right? Squeeze those shoulder blades down and back, right? When you come up, get that boom. Get tall. Get tall with the weight. So then you can be done at 10. So we're gonna do a 15 minute AMRAP, as many reps as possible in 15 minutes. Um, it's gonna go 200 meter run, 12 dumbbell snatches. I'm gonna go 90, he's gonna go 20s, alternating arms, so six each arm. And then 150 J foot Jacob's ladder, he's gonna go 75. And then back to 12 dumbbell snatches again. And we're gonna keep repeating that through for 15 minutes. Um, he's going to start on the Jacob's Ladder and I'm going to start on the run so we don't run into each other on that portion of it because we only have one. So this will be fun. This will be more of like a uh, little bit more aerobic capacity with a little bit of weight involved. Um, heart rate will be high. I'm going to push the pace on the runs and the Jacob's Ladder. The Jacob's Ladder is going to hurt so much more. If you don't have a Jacob's Ladder, a good alternate is a sled push. Um, like a moderate weight, something that you can almost run with, but you feel more like walking with is the only way the appropriate way to describe a moderate weight push. Cause I can't give you a weight because the surfaces matter, your sled matters, all that stuff. So something that you could run with, but you'd probably walk with, uh, is where, what kind of, I would stick with it at that. And I would go a hundred foot for that. So, um, yeah, fun workout, fun, different little piece. We'll get a little bit of strength in there or power with the snatch a little bit more capacity. The Jacob's ladder is basically all light, all legs, hurt your quads, hurt your uh, hamstrings, hurt your glutes, but most importantly, it hurts your soul. So that's why I love that uh, contraption, just like my man Knox does as well. So yeah, it's always fun having a, someone to work out with and my little man always is uh, down for a workout. So I love it. Nothing else to say, but here we go.
of fun. Give me time I get to work out with my little guys. It's always a good time. Just working with them. And it's not always CrossFit, to be honest. They don't do CrossFit workouts very much. I do building a lot of uh, strength, speed, agility, uh, just to being more well-rounded athletes for the sports that they want to play. And if one day they want to fall in love with CrossFit, I'll be here for them too, to push them in that. We do do some CrossFit uh, stuff, but a lot of it's just starting light, building foundations in movement pattern, um, and then slowly building up in, uh, in weight, right, and in reps. Um, it's been gradual. You know, they haven't always wanted to come out and work out, and I've never forced it. Uh, I've always just tried to lead by example and um, show them what hard work, dedication, discipline will do for you in life, not just in sport, but in life in general. Um, you know, my goal now is this, just, just to be able to hang out with these guys and do stuff that they do. They're both, they're older, you know, they're definitely beating me in things now, <laughs> which is uh, a proud but sad moment all in the same. Uh, as much as I love being a, a father and watching them grow, I still want to beat them. And, um, <laughs> But uh, it's definitely getting fewer and far between. So, yeah, like with your kids, you know, I hate hearing the word dad bod or whatever, because for me, it's it's just an excuse. It's just another excuse, right? Why you can be fat or overweight or not be in shape or not take care of your diet. Um, just another excuse, right? Where my excuse to, to come out here to train, to eat right, to eat properly, is not only to to show them but so that I can do the stuff with them and be there for them. So, um, and live longer and live a healthier life and not, you know, be sitting around watching TV all the time, being able to go out and do stuff, being able to go out and play golf, go hiking, um, play sports with them still, you know, even though I can't beat them in basketball anymore, it's embarrassing, but sure. But I still got them in wrestling, so. But no, yeah, that's, I love it. These days are the best days for me now. I, when they want to come out and work out with me, my little guy, he's like, every time I ask him, he's down. He's like, yep, let's go. And I love it. And he has goals in, his, in the gym, what he wants to be capable of doing already. And it's cool to see it. And it cool, it's cool to see his dedication, um, just him growing up and being becoming men. And, uh, you know, not having to preach at him all the time, just being able to, like, show him. It's been a big uh, reason why I've kept doing what I've been doing for the last, you know, gosh, now I'm, I'm coming up on 16, 17 years of doing CrossFit. And CrossFit is just, you know, it's not as much CrossFit anymore as it is some strength. But, uh, you know, CrossFit was the foundation. CrossFit was the base. And now it just began to grow. And now it's opened my eyes to so many different types of training for them, especially now as athletes, you know, speed, agility. And we do high, I start to, you know, dabble into it too. It's really fun um, being 40 and still being able to do some of the movements. Uh, not nearly what I used to be able to do, but it doesn't matter. It's not my, those aren't my goals anymore. You know, now I'm just doing it for for these guys. My man Knox and Jack. So, so stop having the excuse of why you can not work out and not eat healthy and sit around and watch TV and start having the excuse why you should be doing it. And uh, it's a lot easier when you have those goals to come do the things that you may not want to do, but no, you should be doing it. Boom.